The beauty of maths lies in its simplicity. My name is Viren Ramdani. I am a senior lecturer in maths education at the University of Johannesburg in the science and technology education. Well, we are made up of the maths education unit at UJ is made up of four members currently. Um, we have two professors, I'm a senior lecturer, we have an associate lecturer and uh, we are all very diverse people, we have diverse interests, uh, we each have our own area of specialization and um, I think that, comp that helps us to complement each other. We each have our own strengths and weaknesses and especially when it comes to supervision and co-supervision, I think where, where one person is, has a weakness then the other person can complement uh, our weakness with their strength. Um, so um, we all get along very well as, as well. Um, in fact, recently three of us traveled to Belgium uh, because we are in collaboration with a Belgian university and um, they say you, you really get to know someone when you travel with them and so when we all came back, I think it has really improved our working relationship a lot. Maths is called the Queen of Sciences because it it helps us to understand the world that we live in. It's all around us. In fact, most of the time we don't even realize how important maths is because most of our most of our problems in in, in our lives can be solved mathematically, can be represented mathematically, uh, and is a function of maths. For example, time time can be represented mathematically. Music can be represented mathematically. The study of our physical world. Um, you know, can also be represented mathematically. So that is the beauty of maths. In fact, the fact that it's interwoven in, in our very existence, that is, that I feel is, is, is the beauty of maths. And that is why maths is, is called uh, the queens of the sciences. UJ, I think in South Africa especially, is um, the leading institution when it comes to 4IR uh, among the higher education institutions. Um, yes, it was, it is our, our, our outgoing uh, VC's uh, pet project, so we had to abide by it. But, but, we, but we see the uh, logic of integrating 4IR into, into, our, into our teaching and learning. It is not that easy though, because first we have to understand what does it mean to integrate 4IR into, into teaching and learning. Um, you know, does it mean using a smart board instead of a chalkboard? Does it mean, uh, you know, using a computer at, uh, connected to a projector is that what 4IR is so first we have to get an understanding a common understanding of what what does it mean really to integrate uh, 4IR into into our teaching and learning um, there's a lot of maths software out there especially across the world there are some in South Africa that we use we do try to uh, introduce our, our, our students to some of them like GeoGebra, Maths Lab, IXL um, but when they go into schools, for example, most of the schools are under-resourced. So as much as what we are teaching them at the university is, is important, but it's also very theoretical because it's difficult for, for them to really integrate uh, 4IR and technology into mass teaching and learning in the truest sense of the word. Uh, current issues is my pet module. Um, it is an honors degree uh, module and um, it is my version of the chaos theory. So in my personal and professional opinion, after a while teachers can get into a comfort zone in their schools and they, they become bored and they become jaded. So this, this module has been designed to get them out of that malaise that they find themselves in. So I try to encourage them to think about things differently, to find new solutions to old problems, um, to think about things critically, to think about things not emotionally, to think about things objectively. Uh, experienced teachers can be very emotional when you ask them about their, their job. So we have, I have included a lot of, I think, interesting topics in this current issues. For example, things like, like gender and mathematics, how important is gender uh, in mathematics. Um, I always talk about teacher knowledge. For some reason, teachers don't think that uh, that they need to focus on their on their own personal knowledge, professional knowledge. Once they are in the profession, they think then then they don't have to worry about that. Um, I try to get them to rethink how they teach, how they assess, um, and I also start to 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 get them to think about the wider uh, world out there and how their teaching and learning in their schools 
fits into that. The reality is that we in South Africa need more quality maths teachers and the best quality maths teachers have very good conceptual understanding. So at, in our maths education unit, we focus on developing conceptual understanding in our students so that they can go into schools and then they can teach conceptual understanding to their learners. And in this way, maths will become easier and simpler and more enjoyable and, and people will start being excited about maths again. So please consider becoming a maths teacher at UJ. The University of Johannesburg, the future reimagined.